to the kids and different adults who, you know, want to work out and get physically fit. So I plan to stay at 168 um, for as, as long as possible. Like I said, I have dreams of being the undisputed champion. Hi guys, it's Katie and Sham once again at Boxing Advance. I'm super excited to be joined by WBC Super Middleweight International Champ Shadesia Green. Um, who is standing at eight and oh. Um, Shadeja, welcome. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Lovely to have you on. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for, for you know, opening your platform, for allowing me to be a part of your show today. It's a Anytime. pleasure. Um, so Shadeja, tell us a typical day in the life of Shadeja Green. A uh, typical day, it all depends on the day. Um, like Mondays, I'm... Um, Typically, I get to the gym around the eight eight o'clock. Uh, do some running, do some sparring, some pad work, bad work. Uh, then I leave the gym, rest for a little bit, and then I have another session with my. Um, I have two, you know, two top tier trainers. So my main trainer is the one I, I I meet with first, and then my second trainer is uh the person I meet with in the afternoon, and we just do we work on a, a bunch of technical skills, technical things. Um. That's basically what happens on Monday and Tuesdays. I take it a little bit lighter. Um, get to the gym. I run in the morning. I get to the gym, train, pad work, bag work. Um, and then I leave and I actually go train two of my younger clients for boxing. I go to their home, train them. And then I, I also uh, conduct the kids class at a park. And um, okay. that's what, you know, what I do every day. So, so you train, you train people as well as box yourself. Yes, yes, um, yes. When I have the time and if I'm not really, really, you know, too caught up in what I'm trying to do, if like, say if I have a fight and I'm cutting weight, then typically the training slows down. But um, I try to, you know, reach back and give back to the kids and different adults who, you know, want to work out and get physically fit. So that's what mm -hmm. that's the they basically, you know, consist of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good for you. So, um. They call you sweets. Yes. Where does that come from? Um, it's the way I fight. Um, one of one of my uh, trainers who's still around today, you know, one of my very first trainers gave me that name. Um, he actually had a sweet action, but I like sweets. Um, it's it's you know, never to compare myself to Sweet Pea, but you know, we saw him in the, the ring, very yeah. fancy, yeah, pea, technically gifted and and. I'm, I'm, you can say that my skills consist of that as well. So um, I like my nickname, Sweets, and stuff, because I'm actually sweet out of the ring, too. I'm not, you know, I get in the ring, I'm a total different person, but outside <laughs> of school and I'm sweet. So yeah. my name, it subsides me a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a nice name, nice nickname. Thank you. I'm Shadesia, 8 and 0 this far. What yes, do you, who do you think will be your biggest test in the super middleweight division? Um, honestly, in a super mid middleweight division, I think any one of the champions at the moment, um, okay. they have a deal of experience and it, it takes a lot to be a champion. And I think that we sometimes take it for granted all that it takes to be a champion. Mm. It takes a lot of passion and drive, days that you want to quit, um, days that you want to stop going and you're tired and you really don't feel like it. So I think that anything, I want to be a world champion. I want to be undisputed at 168. And I think that any any of the top tier opponents that that actually have the title now will be a a, a tough a tough fight. Mm, mm. Yeah. So congrats on your win back in uh, May against NG Barkas. Um, who would you say has been your toughest opponent to date out of your eight opponents? I think um, it had to be my third opponent, Ires Hernandez, mm -hmm. Ais Hernandez. Um, it was a it was a test fight. It was um tough, grueling. Um, it was my first time actually going six rounds in a professional bout. Um, I kind of consider it as my first pro debut, but um, it it taught me so many things and uh, it pushed me right back into the gym to work on all of my flaws and just perfect my craft. But I would have to say that that was the tough that was the toughest fight I've endured in my my professional career. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, yeah. actually. I look back over your, I think it was your second fight, Jessica Robertson, I think it was, and it was a round four um, knockout. It was pretty brutal. Pretty yeah. brutal, you know. Um, and I saw you kind of gave her a little hug at the end because she looked quite, you know. Out of it, yeah. 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 But, but no, well, that's we, thank, 
both get out of the ring, you know, safe and sound. You only want to hurt them for that moment, but you never want to change their lives forever. Yeah, so. That's it. Yeah. And it shows great sportsmanship. So, yeah. yeah right. So um, you moved down to super middle um, from heavyweight. What was yes. the reason? And do you plan to stay at the current weight that you're at now? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, um, I was heavyweight in the um, amateurs. I was on the USA team. And uh, even then, it was really, really tough getting bowed at that weight because not you don't see a lot of heavyweights walking around mm -hmm. um i made the usa team and i realized that they had heavyweights in other countries and so i went to what what was considered my olympics um as a i'm sorry guys sorry, i guys. went i went i went to what was considered you know my olympics as a heavyweight and um i did pretty well but i was still very small as a have like you know fighting the other countries I was short, so I, I wanted to make a change and I wanted to commit myself and dedicate myself and do something a little bit more um, tougher than what I was doing. And that was basically being able to eat the correct foods and, and really, you know, get cut up and, and, and really focused on fitness. So I plan to stay at 168 um, for as, as long as possible. Like I said, I have dreams of being the undisputed champion. I want to win all titles. And then if um you know, if the opportunity presents itself that I can move down to a lower weight class and, and pick up a really, really big fight there, I would be interested in um, doing so. But right now, the 168 is uh, where I want to fight and stay at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. And, you know, right now you're ranked in three of the sanctioning bodies, I think. And, you know, where, where I mean, you're making waves already, you know, so where are you looking to go? next i know you want to become undisputed have you got any you know ideas of who your next fight might be with um right now i have no idea we're in talks of trying to fight for the um silver to make me the mandatory to fight for the title um much respects to the females in my divisions that um there's actually about to be a big fight for the super middleweight division they're about to um fight for the undisputed title franchise clues and i believe ellen sideros so yeah. um, by that time, I would like to have put myself in a predicament where I'm the mandatory and, um, you know, uh, we could go from there. You know, my next fight, I want it to be a, a good step up fight. Somebody who, who wants to win the title just as much as I do and we can fight. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit from there. I'm hoping, God willing. Mm. God willing. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, look, Shadeshia, beautiful name, by the way. Thank beautiful. you so much. Who named you? <laughs> my mom. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, my mom gave me a name, and um, till this day, I asked her, like, Mom, why did you name me that? And she was like, it was cute, <laughs> and you're different, and I don't care what you say. And I just, yeah, she named me. My mom gave me one. No, it's definitely Love a beautiful that. name. Yeah. Um, listen, best of luck for your up-and-coming fights. Tell Thank the people you. where they can find you on social media and um, big up your sponsors if you have any. I appreciate it. Um, on social media, on Instagram, you can follow me at Shadeja underscore green. On Facebook, it's Shadeja Green. On Twitter, it's Shadeja Green. I try to just keep it very professional and very classy. Those are my three um, social medias. Um, I'm not too active on them. All. I'm getting better with that because, like I said, I'm so busy. Right now, I'm talking to you guys in the, in the, in the parking lot, and I'm getting ready to go and kids. You and made just, it, though. <laughs> But those are my social medias again, Shadeja underscore green for Instagram, Shadeja green for Facebook, and Shadeja green for Twitter. Good. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me and taking the time out to get to know me. I really appreciate you guys. Anytime. I would absolutely appreciate you. And exactly. you know, best of luck. We'll be watching and following um, and waiting to see you, you know, your rise to greatness. So um thank you. Uh, guys. You. Once again, we are Katie and Sham at Boxing and Bants. And don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Mm -hmm.